we all love TikTok and we all love indigenous TikTok raiders, but unfortunately there are some bad apples that come into the mix that cause chaos. Hello everybody and welcome well I'm going welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna to be doing um, we're doing we're doing a video. This is called Three Indigenous TikTok creators who publicly shame themselves. So while we're at it, let's get into it. Number one, Mama Bird the Comedian 2.0. Mama Bird the Comedian 2.0 is from is from the is from the southeast region of Turtle Island. Now she made her rise to fame in TikTok by um, by having slightly funny, quirky um, videos uh, about three minutes apiece on TikTok, and then start putting her two cents in about the missing and murdered Indigenous women cause, and also all the other causes involving the Indigenous people, the Western Hemisphere. But over time, Mama Bird, the comedian 2.0, developed a nasty habit of spreading rumors, backbiting, and mass reporting people unjustifiably. Within a short period of time, over a matter of months, everybody started fighting back. Before she knew it, her um, three of her TikTok accounts got publicly erased, and eventually she started attacking and publicly disgracing and telling off all the wrong people. Inevitably, on multiple different platforms, including Instagram, Clapper, and YouTube, Mama Bird the Comedian 2.0 was publicly shamed and asked not to participate in any further indigenous causes. Now today her videos are a fleeting memory all over TikTok. Let's move on to the next, shall we? Number two. Justin Wombly Wakinian, aka Lakota Guy. Lakota Guy became um, became a regular staple in the indigenous TikTok community, oftentimes professing himself as a member of the American Indian movement. Many times he would sit there and have the aim flag even displayed right behind his head as he was recording his videos. But he also developed a nasty habit of publicly bullying people and being misogynistic toward women on, on, on TikTok. Many, many different attempts for women to unally themselves as a direct result of his public, publicly cyberbullying. But then when, when word got out about his, about his criminal past um, and, um, and, um, and um, his history with being caught smuggling, with smuggling product onto the Pine Ridge Reservation, the Pine Ridge and Rosebud PD publicly came forward and publicly disgraced him and uh, told the TikTok community what he was really about. Within, within a matter of months, the word was out there that, um, that Lakota guy not only A, is not only not welcome on any of the Lakota reservations, but B, doesn't even have his um, his tribal ID roll card it, issued to every registered Native American by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Today, unfortunately, all well, you know, fortunately, Lakota guy is nothing more than a fleeting memory. Oftentimes, retreating to Clapper or other social media platforms where his videos are hardly viewed. And last but not least, da -da 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 -da, Lance Sosi, aka Modern Warrior. Modern Warrior um, skyrocketed into a stratosphere of fame in the indigenous TikTok community. He would often start his videos with Hello Beautiful People and also became known for the catchphrase, Hey Colonizer. Hey Colonizer became so famous and so catchy that oftentimes he would make t shirts and hats. Other indigenous TikTok creators would follow, uh, follow his example. But unfortunately, the downside to it is many tribal elders got very frightened and fearful at the fact that a lot of indigenous young people would follow him blindly and listen to everything he said very passionately without question. Well, this is a dangerous recipe for disaster. At the same time, he found himself rubbing shoulders with celebrities who were, who were um, indigenous, oftentimes very famous people you would see in Hollywood movies. Well... Beneath all that fame and all that acolyte and all that love he was getting on TikTok, Lance Sosi also got to garner the attention of a lot of young women throughout the country on TikTok because he became that famous. He, um, under the surface, unfortunately, he was secretly womanized on an average of eight to nine women at a time. It wasn't until finally he got caught and exposed by one particular TikTok, TikToker in general. Chelsea Hart is me. Chelsea Hart is me made a long video exposing Lance, saying how he flew her out to his uh, to his apartment in Colorado, seduced him, and then lied to him, and then went to lunch with with another woman, only to seduce that woman as well. 
This became a pattern. When when Chelsea Hart as me finally found out what was really going on, she lied and went on TikTok and said Lance possibly got her pregnant. Now, up as much is to be debated or is up in the air whether he got her pregnant or not. But the very real factor is that he did womanize her and at least nine other women throughout his TikTok career. Very, very shortly, word got around. It went viral. The more women came forward, the more people publicly spoke out. Inevitably, it made its way to TMZ, it made its way to NBC, and it made its way to every single other online social platform and forum to where oftentimes YouTubers were making videos publicly disgracing him. Within a year and a half, Lance Sosi's fame went down and depleted, inevitably getting divorced from his wife and having to move in with another woman. Within two years, he ended up having to shut down his TikTok account. Now today, unfortunately, you can only, um, you can only see him on, on, on Instagram or Clapper, even, even if you're lucky. Oftentimes having to sit there and make the occasional post here and there, but never to the, never to the stratosphere that he once was. Lance Sosi could have had it all. He could have had fame. He could have had respect. He could have sat there and led the indigenous people in a positive direction. Mama Bur Bird, the comedian also. Also Lakota guy. These three people could have done a lot of good if they had just done things a lot differently than they did. So now you heard it. Three different, um, three, three different indigenous TikTokers who publicly disgraced themselves and shamed themselves as a direct result of their own stupidity.